Today, on Roblox Drama. Have you ever been hacked? Have you ever had your limited stolen? Have you ever fallen for the old trust me trick? You know, where they start abusing you. Hey, I've only known you five minutes and you already hate me. Now, why don't you trust me? Prove that you trust me by giving me your best item first before I give you my stuff. And then if you're a kid, you feel like a four year old, you're like, oh, I mean, uh, I don't want to make him feel bad. Mummy says making people feel bad on the internet sends you straight to the bottom of hell. And so you hand over your pet and just before he gets to trade you, I don't know, Thanos snaps or something, because he just vanishes. Well, as I'm sure you know, this is an extremely widespread problem on Roblox. You can't think of Roblox without thinking of four-year-olds getting their life ripped away from them and breaking down into tears for a day and crying to their parents that they lost their items. It's basically a rite of passage at this point. You're not considered an adult until you're being scammed by the Hamburglar in Adopt Me. Now, the reason I'm talking about it now is because a brand new article just came out by Vice titled, How Roblox Beamers get rich stealing from children. And I, I love the little thumbnail. It's so cute. They probably paid some little GFX artist to make this little the cute little bloxy man with all the diamonds. That's literally me on Petsimex. Underneath the gaming platform worth $68 billion and used by over half of all children in America is a ballooning and highly profitable ecosystem of hackers and traders. I figured this would be interesting to read because I hear it's got some crazy experiences in there. Let's check it out. Assel, who's a player on Roblox, was at home when something odd happened. Roblox, for some reason, logged him out of his account. Assel tried to get back in, but his password didn't work. Fortunately, he was able to reset his password, create a new one, and log in. Okay, so far sounds pretty normal. I, uh, the, the old David Bazooki ghost logout thing. You know, it happens to the best of us. It always happens on certain days. Maybe, I don't know, David's just feeling angry, and so he decides to smite someone by logging them out of Roblox. But as soon as he did that, Roblox kicked him back out. Assel contacted Roblox support, but it didn't help. Yeah, wait, go figure. Someone had removed the email address from the account, meaning he couldn't prove the account actually belonged to him. Whoever was in control of Assel's account then started trading with another player and sent some of Assel's valuable in-game items to the second account. It was clear a hacker had broken in and was emptying Assel's pockets. Now, when you say hacker on the Roblox platform, I do not immediately go to like the, the anonymous world class uh, uh, crypto hacking gods. I think of like a 14 year old kid who's still in like middle school uh, going in getting someone's password and then uh, taking his limiteds and then going back to play adopt me. Maybe before designing his 18 plus Meep City party. Like I, I don't think these guys are exactly the professionals so to say. But the problem is you don't need to be a professional here on Roblox and a lot of that is because of the actual like young kids on there who've never been hacked before. They don't know any better. They don't know not to trust the bad boy on the internet with the default bacon hair look? Each Roblox account has an individual character they can earn or buy new clothes for, and which they use inside Roblox's virtual worlds. The hacker targeting Assel stole a rare skin that makes their Roblox avatar look like it's licking its lips, as well as some Robux. Wow. <laughs> Dang. Ah! They stole my licky lip face! No! What even is the licky lips face? I can't even look that up. <laughs> Wow, don't you hate it when the, those hackers steal your Charlie 2 faces? Is it, is, is, is it this one? Or <laughs> maybe it's the Rodeo Vampire. Anyway, if you know what it is, let me know down below. Limited items in Roblox come with unique serial numbers, adding to their prestige. Assel's item was numbered 918. Assel said a friend originally gave it to them and added he originally shared the account with a friend before they gave him full control of it. Now, is, is this a story of betrayal? Is this like uh, some dr drama anime plot? A day later, a friend of Assel's found someone selling that same rare face item for Bitcoin in a Discord channel where users peddled Roblox items. The item this person was selling had the exact same serial number as Assel's, 918. It was his stolen item, now being sold on the Roblox Underground, uh, the, the dark web of Roblox Discord. Oh god, the think of the Discord moderators buying that stuff. Assel, it turned out, had been beamed. Roblox slang for getting hacked and your item stolen. Don't, don't worry if you didn't know that. I legitimately didn't know that until like a year ago. When someone first told me they'd been beamed, I thought they were like making some crazy Star Wars tractor beam reference, like that their avatar was getting picked up by some random energy laser and, and taken away. Kind of like that minion meme. <laughs> 
There's a whole community where people beam, steal limiteds, and sell them for USD or cryptocurrency, Assel told Motherboard in an online chat. So-called beamers are able to profit from stolen Roblox items via massive dedicated marketplaces that handle at least tens of thousands of underground transactions, which take a cut of each sale too. Some of the items sold on these marketplaces likely include hacked items. Motherboard spoke to 11 people connected to Roblox beaming, including victims, the people who administer the marketplaces where people then sell Roblox items, and hackers themselves. Oh, so, so they're talking to 10 year olds. There's a ballooning and highly profitable ecosystem where hackers stand to steal tens of thousands of dollars worth of items in minutes, with many victims including children. It is absolutely true. They do actually make bank. Like I remember investigating a hacker about a year ago uh, when that whole glitch came out where they could place an overlay on top of the buy Robux button. And so you'd think you were pressing play game, but it was actually pressing the buy button on Roblox. And they, they were making so much money from that. They legitimately scammed this guy and th there was nothing Roblox could do. I, I actually stalked the hacker in that instance on some crazy alt account. And he was bragging about how he makes 10 million Robux an hour. He'd really be making bank off the idiots that he does. Like no remorse at all. Like, they're, they're real douches. Look, it, literally in the next paragraph, one beamer called Max told Motherboard how he targets many of these victims. I go to servers with rich idiots, then message every single one of them. And here's an image of an asshole sweet licking face. Oh, it's the yum face, the yum. Thank God he wasn't using the other weird one that would have probably been used by a Roblox Slender, but still. By the way, imagine how smart it would be if those hackers sell off the yum face to someone else and then they actually hack them and then get the yum face back. That would be so big brain. God, I should be a Roblox hacker. What am I doing in the star program? I'm out of here. Assel, who lost his avatar item, wasn't exactly sure how the hacker managed to take over his account. But Motherboard found beamers are using a wide selection of creative and varied ways to break in and steal items from unsuspecting victims. Beamers are constantly registering new phishing domains to use against targets. One beamer, who goes by the name Stov Stovsky, recently obtained the domain Roblox.com for their own phishing attempts. Roblox? Fishers appear to have used domains such as www-roblox.com, site-roblox.com, and www-roblox.com. <laughs> Wait, maybe the original creator of that meme was a Roblox beamer. If you hate beamers and you think they're garbage and childish, then I'll hack your account. Hedros, another victim Motherboard spoke to, said beamers tend to target high value accounts. Well, I mean, obviously, like, what, what are they gonna get from Jenna who just made her a Roblox account last week? Are they gonna get her five Roblox winning smile face? Hedros believes they were compromised because of sim swapping. We've talked talked about this before, it's actually kind of scary, where a hacker tricks a victim's carrier to reroute their text messages or calls to a SIM card that the hacker controls. So basically, they get all messages that would be sent to his original phone over to their phone. Beamers also use various tricks to get a victim to hand over their .har file, a chunk of JSON data that contains a user's Roblox login token. Web browsers legitimately use these to keep a user logged into their account. Once a hacker has it though, they can use a Google Chrome extension to load in the token themselves and then use it to log into the target account and start emptying its item inventory. We've also talked about this one before. This is one where the hacker will come to you and be like, hey, you want to be in a uh, Roblox movie, huh? Yeah, good old Devon flick. Um, well, I need your Roblox avatar. And in order to get your Roblox avatar, you need to get me this strange file from like the, the your Roblox Chrome website, the, the backend data. Here's a YouTube video on how to get it. That's that, that's that one. Now, before the token itself, Roblox includes this text. The warning, do not share this. I don't think they had that in the past, but now that they've added it, that's a good thing. They, they need it. Yeah, here we go. Despite that warning from Roblox, the tricks can be too enticing though. The beamers will say they're making a game and are looking for paid help, or they'll offer to make in-game art for the target's avatar, but they need their appearance renderer to do so. Yeah, oh, because uh, I mean, what rich three-year-old doesn't want to get his Roblox avatar rendered? My guy could literally be Batman in Gotham City. He can live the dream. Sure, it's a risky move, but Batman, man, Batman!
He's three! What's he- you he think he's gonna be smart? Some of these tricks aren't limited to Discord chats. The beamers also find targets inside the virtual worlds of Roblox games themselves and approach them. If it's a girl, say, Oh my god, your outfit is so pretty! If it's a boy, say, Your avatar is sick. One set of instructions Motherboard found reads, referring to how to start a conversation with potential targets during a Roblox game. Who is writing this? Kim Jong-un in North Korea? Maybe Mark Zuckerberg from Mars? Because that is literally, like, how do you you not know that's how you start a conversation. The kids, they have been doing it since they're five. Every single game where you can dress up that I go into, it is filled with girls just saying, OMG, your outfit's so pretty, yas. To be fair, nobody really says, as a boy, your avatar is sick. Like, no, like they, they say, are you rich? Do you have Robux? I love your winning smile face, all of those. So watch out if someone's specifically saying, your avatar is sick. By the way, would you like a render? <laughs> Look out for that. In other cases, Beamers will find out what PayPal account belongs to the victim, then contact Roblox support and claim the associated Roblox account actually belongs to them by providing a fake screenshot of the associated PayPal account. That's actually scary, wow, because I have sent some people my PayPal account before in the past because, you know, I need to actually pay them and I, I send them the money. So, ooh, if Roblox just does that from a screenshot, that's a yikes. Sometimes after beaming a target, hackers will deface the victim's profile. Beamed by Exodus, beamed by Exodus, beamed by Exodus. Reads the description on one apparently hacked Roblox user's profile. Now, I think that is so stupid. Like, what, are you trying to roleplay as a, some crazy supervillain from The Incredibles? Are you gonna be screen slaver? Wow, you're real cool, bro. Wow. Whoa, the, the old people are gonna be fearing you. You're gonna be the next Roblox Jenna. Oh, boy. God, please don't hack me, Exodus. It's so goofy. I'd say it's the equivalent of dressing up in some really ugly stereotype typical hacker outfit with your hunched back and your little hoodie and then your anonymous looking mask and being like, oh, yes, uh, this, I beamed this profile. It's so goofy. Hackers also upload videos to YouTube of their beaming in action, stealing item after item, in some cases harassing the child victim over Discord, and uploading audio of them crying and with the hackers telling the victim to oof themselves. That is just even worse. Like, th these guys are legitimate psychopaths. That's crazy. Roblox, for its part, has seemingly taken action against the underground marketplaces. Uh, David Bazooki, he's charging in there himself with a keyboard and mouse in hand. He'll single-handedly put a stop to it. Adurad's Discord server, which which is one of the places where a lot of this stuff was happening, was recently removed. Place temporarily shut down after allegedly receiving a legal threat from the company. The owner of a Roblox gambling website, which I won't put there because I don't want to encourage it, li literally just horrible, you lose money, previously told Rozone that Roblox sent a legal demand to Amazon Web Services and their subsequent host, which both took the site down. It then moved to another offshore host who doesn't really care about the DMCA copyright law. <laughs> nice. Roblox does offer users the ability to roll back an item trade, which can be used if a hacker stole their items, but Roblox only offers one rollback per account, which isn't helpful to people who had items stolen across multiple trades. That does suck. That's unfortunate. Roblox told Motherboard that it has limitations on its restore policies to prevent abuse, but reviews inquiries on a case-by-case -case basis. So there you go. David's sitting at his desk pretty much going through each case. A Roblox spokesperson told Motherboard in an emailed statement that it aggressively deters moving activity off of Roblox because we cannot control like activity on other applications, which rarely have comparable safety policies, account restrictions, parental controls, and other protections. We've spent over a decade building a stringent safety and security system, and policies that we are proud of, and that we are continuously evolving as our community grows. The Roblox InfoSec team, in particular, actively mines various sources for threat intelligence, monitoring for malicious activity and taking appropriate action. It's the Rose Squad! For Assel though, the measures in place were not enough. At the time of writing, he is still locked out of his account and hasn't had his Roblox items returned. He's lost motivation with Roblox in general, he said. I lost so much. Uh, that's the end. Uh, that's when the Avengers lose. Uh, this is the Assel's Infinity War. I'm actually in a Discord server where Assel's talking about that and it is rough. He, he has gone through so many hurdles and every single time he gets knocked back and a lot of it's by Roblox like refusing to take his request, which is a massive shame. I really I really wish they could do more. But what do you think's going on here? Like, what, what do you think about this? Are you, are you 
worry that your account's gonna be taken by a 10 year old Mountain Dew sipping boy who's, who can't wait to uh, role play as a supervillain and put beamed by big boy mama 44 all over your Roblox account? I hope talking about this situation can actually give you an idea to look out for a lot of things when you're gonna be trading and uh, look out for those hacks, especially the giving the .htf file, like watch out for those videos and also the old trust trade, like you know, the, the trust trade's a classic one. Be careful out there, like and subscribe if you don't want me to hack your account because you know me, I'm the one of the greatest hackers up there with Kim Jong-un and I I'll catch you in tomorrow's video. Jingo Jango, Starcode Mango, goodbye.